Hi, Sophia. So in order to answer this question, uh, I'm going to draw this little graph right over here. So negative 1, 4, and 2, negative 4. Um, but just so you know, the slope here is actually not negative 3, because the way we find slope is by doing rise over run. And in this case, our rise is um, negative 8, right? Because we went down 8 over here and right 3, right? Because we went from 4 to negative 4. Um, as our y point, and then negative 1 to 2. So it would actually be negative 8 over 3, which is almost 3. It's about negative uh, 2.66. Um, but I'm still going to help you find this distance here. So the way you normally find the distance is you can actually set up a right triangle if you visualize it like this, right? So this is the actual line, but here's the right triangle that we made. So I'm going to redraw it right over here. We went down 8, and we went to the right 3. And so using the Pythagorean theorem, we can actually um, find this hypotenuse over here by doing a squared plus b squared, which if you don't know what this is, um, Pythagorean theorem is basically where in a right triangle, you know that one side squared plus the other side squared is going to equal to the hypotenuse squared. So we have 8 squared as our a plus 3 squared is equal to our c squared. And so 8 squared is 64, 3 squared is 9, 64 plus 9 is equal to 73, so c squared is equal to 73, and um, so that means c is equal to root 73. If you want to round that to the nearest tenth, I'll do that on my calculator right now. And we get 8.5. Hope this helped. If you want to um, do some SAT math tutoring, uh, you can find me. My name is Benjamin, and you'll be able to click on my profile. And I just started doing SAT math tutoring. So if I could be of any help to you, uh, please let, please let me know. Thank you. Thank you.